In this Excel video, we shall have a look at creating result fields in an Excel pivot table. First of all, let's have a look at our transactional data from which I've created already a simple pivot table. So here we have a data sheet which has a list of invoices, really quite simple. For example, invoice one for a customer for a part has a quantity sold, the unit price therefore gives the sales value, 10 times £1.50 gives £15, the cost of the part is £1.20, so 10 times £1.20 gives £12. So in that particular invoice it's a £3 margin, and indeed it's a margin field we're going to calculate as a result field in the Excel pivot table. So if I go to pivot table, you can see here I've already got the pivot table uh, set up and the pivot table analyze ribbon all ready to go. So here on the right hand side I've got sales year and periods as my filter, customer and values as a column, part number as a rows, and I've already got sales value and cost down here. And I've got to create here a margin field. So I'll click on field sets and items, calculated field. I'm simply going to call the calculated field margin leave the formula with the equal sign but delete the equals zero and instead leaving the equals there double click on sales value minus total cost because the margin is the sales value minus the total cost i'm going to add that field i'll scroll down now and see that at the bottom we've got the margin new calculated field press ok and there you have it it puts in sum of margin, which is selectable on the right hand side, into the pivot table. I think you can see there that £307.50 sales value minus the total cost of 246 does indeed give £61.50. So the key to the creation is the, is the option on the pivot table analyze um, ribbon called field sets and items.